Will silence make him miss me? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great, loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not, because you, of course, deserve to be loved for the unique, amazing, and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up and by subscribing to the channel. It really does help support us. Um, also, if you are interested, we do have a course called Connect and Commit. You can go ahead and check it out in the description box below if you're curious, but it helps to turn um, potentially make or break moments between you and your ex into opportunities for greater connection and commitment between the two of you. You can find out more about that down below in the description box. Not going to hard sell you on it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. I've been around for a while on YouTube. I've been doing this since YouTube, at least since 2011, uh, which is like a really long time. And, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of um, relationship and breakup coaches like come and go. And the one thing that I've noticed that pretty much all of them have in common is that they all advocate using no contact um, almost as if it's like the only tool that you have in your arsenal. You know, I, I wouldn't even call a lot of these folks um, breakup coaches per se, because really they're more like no contact coaches. They just like coach you on not contacting your ex. It, I, I, I don't know. Apparently that's something that people need help with. Um, but I want to make it clear that no contact is not the only tool that you have at your disposal. Yes, it does make sense in certain situations and certain cases and all of that. There are definitely times when it makes sense to not contact your ex and how that can actually help to create a stronger connection between the two of you and create an opportunity for the two of you to come back together and to get closer and all of that. But it is not something that every single situation needs. You know, I actually recently had a client who got back together with her ex, um, and she did not ever really do no contact at all. So um, you don't need to do it. But uh, the, the, the the whole idea that you need to do no contact, it's, it's not necessarily true. But let's go ahead and talk about this, because there is this very common belief that a lot of people have, a lot of um, other people on YouTube might be suggesting um, that you just dogmatically do no contact all the time 100% uh, because it will make your ex miss you and it'll make them crawl back to you on broken shards of glass that, again, I don't know where these broken shards of glass are, but people seem to be obsessed with them. If you actually want your ex to crawl back to you on broken shards of glass, please leave a comment down below because I'm very curious about that. Uh, you know, if you want them to bloody up their hands and knees, um, Maybe you actually don't want to get back together with them. Just a thought. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. So the no contact rule can work at making your ex miss you in certain situations. That is to say, if the connection between you and your ex is pretty strong and if uh, the current way that the two of you are interacting is not bringing the two of you that last little bit closer... Um, you can sometimes leverage the connection that you already have with one another to make them realize, oh, hey, I can't wait around forever, or whatever we're doing right now isn't working, or um, if you're not going to make a decision, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my attention elsewhere, or whatever the case may be. And that can sometimes be all that you need to kind of just push them that last little bit over the edge. There are obviously other things that you can do too. Again, no contact is not your only tool. It's not something that you just retreat into whenever anything doesn't go your way or anything like that. I've seen so many messages. It's like, oh, hey, we had a fight. Should I do no contact? Oh, hey, we had a misunderstanding. Should I do no contact? Oh, hey, he didn't call me back. Should I do no contact? Um, sometimes that makes sense, but many of those situations, not so much. Um, but yeah, uh, you can do no contact if you want to, and that can sometimes push someone just that last little bit over the edge. Also, no contact can be helpful if um, the way that the two of you are currently interacting is actually causing the two of you to move further away from one another emotionally. That is to say, it's doing more harm than good. Now, obviously, we want the two of you to be moving closer together emotionally. And so if the way that you're communicating with one another is not bringing the two of you closer together, it's actually creating more distance, then no contact can make sense because we're going to stop 
doing whatever isn't working, whatever's actually causing that distance to become greater. And we're going to take a time out and we're going to look at what's going on, uh, specifically what's going on with us, because, you know, how we bring ourselves to the interaction is going to be a major factor in whether we get closer together emotionally or further apart emotionally, right? Because your way of being, you know, whether you are coming at a place of damage control mode or whether you're coming at a place of really relaxed spaciousness, that is absolutely going to make a big difference. And obviously those two things are a very, very different um, way of interacting with one another. So if you can, you know, take some time to introspectively look at how you're bringing yourself to the interaction that can really be helpful as well too um, before we go on just wanted to let you know that we do have a full playlist a full video series on the no contact rule my take on the no contact rule so if you are in it or thinking about doing it you might want to check this out you can find it up there it's not just any of that like hey cut contact and white knuckle it through it for 30 days or something advice we have our own take on the no contact rule you can find it up in the video card in the upper right corner of this video um, and of course no contact can also give your ex the the gift of not always being around you and this can this can be helpful for a couple of different reasons number one um, Again, if interacting with the two of you is not bringing the two of you close together and it's creating more emotional space, then being out of contact with your ex is going to stop any damage that's currently being done from being in contact with them in, an, in a, in, in a non-productive sort of way. And it's going to give them the opportunity to actually experience the, the vacuum of, uh, of you in their life. So they might actually start to actually have some more pleasant memories start to resurface, some more positive emotions start to resurface. This can happen. It can also go the other way as well, too, where maybe they're like just relieved that they're not in contact with you anymore because maybe the interactions with the two of you were um, not very enjoyable for them. So don't think that no contact is just some like cure all, always do it sort of thing. Again, I've mentioned this many, many, many times in this video, but um, a lot of people don't seem to get it and they think that no contact is the one thing that they can do they need to use it all the time whenever things don't go their way um, and you just need to white knuckle through it um, but no contact can be helpful for your ex's experience it can also kind of not be helpful too um, another reason that no contact can sometimes be helpful is that it actually gives your ex the space and time they need to actually reflect themselves now granted you know these days people don't really do a whole lot of reflection they tend to go into rebound relationships dating apps um just sort of distracting themselves into thinking that they moved on so i don't know if that is necessarily going to happen as frequently as maybe it did when I first got started back in, you know, 2011 on YouTube, 2009, just on the internet in general. Um, you know, I've definitely noticed a, a larger trend towards distraction over the past 10 years or so. Um, but you, it, it, it potentially could give them the opportunity to actually be a little bit more introspective and to start to say, you know what, this is what I actually want for myself. Um, maybe things weren't so bad with so-and-so. Maybe we could get back in contact and maybe we could work things out. It can happen. It did happen for me with my ex when, you know, I did some no contact um, and she actually initiated contact with me, but it's not some sort of guaranteed thing, okay? I know that there's a lot of advice out there that says it's a guaranteed thing, your ex will always come back over the broken shards of glass that someone needs to sweep up. Um, it happens 100% of the time. No, it does not. Uh, sometimes it can go the complete other way, where it's like, whew, well, that was a really intense situation. I'm glad I'm out of that. I, I can just breathe a sigh of relief and just enjoy not being under all of that pressure or whatever the case may be, right? So don't think that it's a magic cure-all. What you need to do is you need to look down deeper beneath the surface at the emotional connection between the two of you. And you need to say, is this bringing us closer together or further apart? And if you think no contact is going to create the context for the two of you to come closer together because it's going to maybe remove some of the negative interactions that the two of you are having and it's going to allow for some more introspection or something like that or maybe just be that last little gentle gust of wind that pushes your ex um, off of that fence and gets them to decide to say like, okay, yeah, uh, I really value you in my life and I want to 
get over whatever is holding me back and and see what's possible between the two of us, then yeah, sure, it can make sense. But just don't think that it's the one thing that you have at your disposal. Okay, so I hope this has helped you out. Uh, Once again, if you like what we're doing, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel down below here. And if you are curious about that connect and commit course, you can find information on that down in the description box as well too. But once again, my name is Clay with modernweb.life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do want to find out more about our take on no contact, please feel free to check out this video series over here on our take on the no contact rule, or you might want to check out this video over here. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Please take care.